Hello, I'm Congressman Don Manzillo. I'm honored to represent you and the rest of the people of Northern Illinois in the United States House of Representatives. I represent the 16th Congressional District of Illinois, serves about 730,000 people in nine counties from McHenry County in the east all the way to the Mississippi River in the west. I live on a small farm in Egan, just southwest of Rockford. As chairman of the House Manufacturing Caucus, I'm focused like a laser beam. I'm trying to help our employers break through these tough times and put Americans back to work. The number one concern of the people I represent is the economy and jobs. It has always been about jobs. Several years ago, I authored an American Jobs Agenda focused on creating policies to help our employers become more competitive so that they can expand and create jobs. Elements of the plan include job-creating tax incentives, more affordable health care options, lower energy costs, and eliminating unnecessary regulations which stifle job creation and increase the cost of doing business. We must also expand opportunities to sell more American products overseas and get serious about enforcing our trade laws. It's well past the time for our government to challenge China on its unfair trade practices that help Chinese manufacturers gain a competitive advantage over American companies which end up sending more of our jobs overseas. We just had a case involving aqua aerobics in Rockford, Illinois, where a Chinese company actually stole their patent. I went to work uh, in the Chinese courts. I worked with the Chinese ambassadors. We put out an all-front all effort, and we ended up making the Chinese back down and honoring intellectual property rights of our American companies. But companies shouldn't have to go to a congressman every time they get beat up by the Chinese on a theft of, of intellectual property rights. So we'll work to continue to make sure that we have a better opportunity to protect intellectual property rights for American companies. As lead Republican on the Foreign Affairs Subcommittee on Asia and the Pacific, and as vice chair of the U.S.-China Interparliamentary Exchange, I've helped lead efforts in Congress to hold China's feet to the fire when they manipulate their currency to gain a competitive advantage over the U.S. They illegally subsidize their companies, and they look the other way when manufacturers pirate American designs. I have no doubt that American manufacturers can thrive in the global marketplace if they're on a level playing field. The administration must do more to crack down on these unfair trade practices. And our own government must stop hurting our manufacturers through restrictive export control policies and ignorance of our Buy American laws. I'm working on both fronts to modernize our export control laws so we can protect our national security while selling more American products overseas and to force federal agencies to buy American when they are spending taxpayers' dollars. These initiatives will help put Americans back to work. Unfortunately, our government is going in the wrong direction. The triple whammy of Obamacare, cap and trade, and expanding the tax burden on our small employers will put millions more on the unemployment lines while stifling business expansion and job creation. We must begin to reverse course and start working with our employers to put Americans back to work. If Americans are working, they're paying taxes, they're buying things, their economic activity is creating more jobs, and we don't need to increase taxes. We just need to get the people working again and our economic troubles will right themselves. And the government has to stop the excessive spending. When Democrats took over control of Congress in 2007, our annual budget deficit was about $160 billion. Today it's approaching $1.4 trillion. The national debt is on the pace to hit $20 trillion in the next several years if we keep on spending at this unbelievable pace. We've got to stop the spending. I'm ranked the most fiscally conservative member of Congress from Illinois, receiving awards from the National Taxpayers Union, Citizens Against Government Waste, and the American Conservative Union. This Congress alone, I've already voted 282 times to cut spending by $1.4 trillion. In addition, I voted 24 times against $1.87 trillion in new taxes. We also must look to reverse courses on Obamacare and enact better alternatives that will make health care more affordable and accessible to Americans without surging taxes, lowering the quality of health care for Americans, and cutting Medicare for seniors. I also oppose amnesty and believe we must do a better job of securing our borders. As I stated before, 
I'm proud to represent the people of Northern Illinois and the U.S. Congress, and I'm eager to continue working for you and for our priorities. I would appreciate your vote in November. Thank you.